What's happening? I'm CJ Mack. And I'm Dub C from the Dub C and CJ Mack Show. Thank you for tuning in. Today we have a special guest that we are more than honored to have on the show. Mm. He's the epitome of hustle. He's a hustler's hustler. Uh, he's a stand-up gentleman, man, and he was also... Pardoned by the former president of the United States of America. Just a hint. Stay tuned. Stay locked. Tune in. And subscribe, man. Good plans. Subscribe. Hit the button. Hit the button, man. What y'all trouble up for? I call that, man. <laughs> said, bro, it's in the tailors, man. It's coming, man. It's the OG coat. He gonna put that motherfucker worldwide. You know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gonna put that worldwide. Yeah, yeah, that thing cold. Now, I don't man. know why I gotta get that done because he he been asking me about that. Yeah, that thing cold. You know, with your own pace, you already know. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes, sir. You know, it just feels good, man, for you to be here. You, I, I know you don't you don't like that title that much, but you one of our legends, man. <laughs> And CJ Mack show, and I am Dub C, and I'm still CJ Mack. What's happening with I'm C good, Mack? brother. Ready for another show, man? You ready for another episode? I'm ready for another episode? Yeah, bro. let's get at it, man. Yo, <laughs> what we want to do once again? We got DJ Slim, our guest peace, DJ. Yeah, yeah, peace, what's man? happening, Slim? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. How y'all doing? I'm good, 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 bro, bro. So what's happening, man? What's the topic for today, Dub? Topic for today. We got a special guest in the house. Yeah. Special guest in the house. Very special. Right. Grown man business. Yeah, grown man business, Grown man, man business. You know, I need, I, I want to be the man to introduce this guy, man. Please. I could go on for Please. hours on this introduction I, I just, right here, I just want to let the world know it's an honor. You know what? It's someone that I, I, I've i been looking up to for a whole lot of years, man. Yes, sir. I admire uh, the man that he is, his hustle. I learned mm -hmm. a lot from him, even from afar. And uh, he's a... Uh, Man, when you talk about one of Los Angeles real, real, real vets and soldiers that we look to our heroes. Worldwide, though, not <laughs> just know, Los Angeles. And a state down one. Worldwide, you know what I mean? yeah. not just Los Angeles. Yeah, man, but uh, hey, man, uh, without further ado, man, Who is Michael it? Harris, better known in our community as Harry O. Thank you for coming to the show today, What's man. What's happening with it, What's happening with it, It's good to see both of you brothers, man. Yeah, thank you, we man. You know, it's, it's really, really great to see you. Yeah, it's good to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, man, it's definitely good to see you, man. It's been a long time coming, man. And we're just happy to, you know, have you right here in our presence, man. Um, the first question that I want to ask you is because a lot of times we hear the name, we seldom get a chance to put the face with the name. Yes, sir. The name is so powerful because of what it gave birth to, been involved with, and what you're doing right now. I want to know who is Michael Harris and who is Harry O? Well, Michael Harris is a businessman. Businessman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Through in and throughout. That's yes, who sir. He is. That's, who, that's who he's always been. He's a thinker. Right. You know? And he care about people. You right. Know? He, uh, mm -hmm. he thinks about his thoughts. You know, Harry O, that's his, uh, I just say, if you will, that's his protector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got to yeah, go with yeah, him sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, they work hand in hand, you know. Everybody needs a protector. Exactly. It might as well be with one within yourself. Yes, you know? sir. Right, right. So, right. you know, it's just basically, uh, you know, growing up in a community, you know, how you take on, you know, certain personas, you know, just, you know, you know how we are growing up in a community, thinkers don't always get thought of in the way they should be. Right. You know? And, uh. It's better to be a thinker than a non-thinker. Okay. But, you know, Harry O was kind of like the guy that, you know, made sure that people understood that Michael needed to be respected. Right. I, I okay. love it. I <laughs> love part. it. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. you know what, man? Coming from humble beginnings, you know, um, 
where did your ambition come from, man, to 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 want to be successful? You know, where did that fire come from within you? I mean, it might sound traditional. It might sound like you heard it before, but it, it comes from my in my inner circle, man. My my mom, my father. You know, they were business people. They, you know, they led by examples. You know, right. they they talked it, talked, and they walked it. They walked it and talked it. So, you know, with those kind of examples starting out. It's hard to miss. You know? mm, starting the household. We started in the household, man. Just uh, you know, being around them, watching how they engage people in the community, and and how they could take nothing and turn it into something. Yes, and, sir. Uh, and stay consistent and uh, independable. You know, right. It was something about that. You know, it's hard to be connected to that and then not take on that. You know, right. Sometimes we can drift and get caught up in useful misters and kind of get away from some of the game that was given right there in the house. But it always come back to you when it needs to, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, as as parents, uh, I mean, you know, as being a parent now and all that, you know what I mean? That's what I'm always hoping, you know what I mean? That everything that I instill in them, that even though when they look a little wild and they doing their own thing, that they eventually come back to what I'm trying to tell them. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, like, and sometimes, and I've seen it because I've been on a long journey and I've seen things where people have, and even for myself, where you have to reflect you have an opportunity to reflect on your life. And you always remember the wisdom that you was given, even if you didn't take it when it was given to you. So never think that what you're saying to your children, your loved one, and the people that are listening to you, that it doesn't resonate. Sometimes, hopefully, it resonates before it's too late. So that, you know, because some things cost too much not to get. So it's so important that they get it. And so just be consistent with it, man. And just right. be an example of what you're telling them, you know, Right. Message. Yeah, message, right? <laughs> that part. Message. That part. Yeah. So, so one thing I want to do, man, before we get into now and the business that's, uh, that you're into and everything, I want to take a trip, a small trip back to the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back down memory I take, lane. I want to take a small <laughs> trip back to them colorful 1980s, man. Now, you don't you know really want to do that. Just hey, a little bit. Hey, just, hey. You think you want to do that. Just a limo, little bit. Limo, limo, you know limo, what I mean? And, yeah. uh, hey man, I remember know, the days this, you want to go, go down Crenshaw Boulevard in the bucket, man. You gonna hit West Boulevard, Arlington, something, cause it's yeah. this Ferraris and Rolls Royce. It was real. The show was real. Yeah, the it was real. real back it was then. Real. The show, Ball City, baby. Ball yeah, City. That's what I call it, man. Come on now. I mean, you know, everybody got, you know, everybody feel the way they feel about this city, and they should. But yeah. you know, yeah. I'm talking. About, but that city, L.A., that's Ball City, man. Oh, it's Ball City, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, and what's so cold about it, man? You know, we got we had different communities. In that city, and you know, and, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this because you know I just think it should be said, and I don't want nobody to take it the wrong way, you know, because I don't mean it the wrong way. I mean it like it is, right? But you know, I think movies like Boys in the Hood and um, Minister Side, those type of movies, may have sent um, mix a, a mixed message, or not even a mixed message. It, it may have sent some that was inconsistent with what that city was about. Mm. That that part of that was a part of the culture. Speak. But but it was players and hustlers, baby. You yeah. know what I mean? That's who we were. You know, we grew up with that business, man. Mine. You know, it was like, how do we parlay, you know? Yeah. It wasn't about, can I hurt you, hurt you? It's how we can eat together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How, how we can connect the dots. Yeah. Even though dudes might have been from different hoods and, you know, different gangs. But, we we you know, in some sets, you know, we could sit down and say, hey, man, how can we connect the dots? Yeah. And I don't think that's ever been depicted in, uh, on this coast, man. I think that a lot of people in other cities think that L.A. is just the city of the rags. I mean, of the gangbang, you know, and, and that's part of us, you know, that's that's just, it is what it is. And I'm not saying nothing to say that it that wasn't a part of our coast. Yeah. Welcome to the Dub C and CJ Maxx show because we want to show everybody that there's more to the West Coast, there's more to a lot, to just our culture than just violence. Yeah, well, well you, you know, I like to say this, man, because I'm from that era, too. Talk and, to me. And it's like, I've always said that the NWA movement and the rap movement was so strong yeah. that that became our identity to people in other cities and other states. It was we, real, though. It was, it was real. It was real, but was what real. I'm saying is their it movement was... But what he just, yeah. just like what he just said, that was one 
aspect. section. It's yeah, one aspect. aspect right. of the city. It's, it's, not that right. it wasn't real, because it was right. real. No, it was very, very real. Very real. real. If anybody at this table would say it wasn't real, no, it wasn't there. It was still very real. Everybody at this table was there, so it was real. But the element was, it was another element in the streets that was going on. Basically what you telling me. We was fly, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That part. It was hustlers out there. Fly as they come. out there. Ball City, baby. Come on now. Leading the way. Talk about it. When people come to the city, they recognize they was able to connect to that spirit, man. We was real hustlers, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, and, you know, it wasn't just, you know, like drugs. I mean, I mean that came in, but we always been hustlers. Since we was kids, man, we was always trying to figure out how to parlay, man, yeah. how to connect, man. How can you I know? get down there to Mike's yeah. and get me some uh, Taylor, Taylor McTees? Oh, you don't know about Taylor McTees. You don't know about Taylor Mike. How can come I get on, me some Taylor McTees, man? Uh, on my pants, man. We used to stay suited and booted, baby. <laughs> down there at GG's, you know? Yeah. And, and so, you know, I'm just saying, man, these was the times, man, where it never got captured in no movie, no film. Yeah. And, you know, people been, you know, want me to do my story, and that time gonna come in, dog, was talking about it the other day. Yeah. But that time gonna come, and, and then I get to you know, reflect back to that and, and bring uh, attention, you know, to some of the people that's no longer with us. And, yes. and some of them are, you know, and, and I just think they've never been represented. And I think that maybe had that been uh, a part of what was disseminated, it have been a whole different level of the game because right. you can't do nothing but bubble up from that. Yes, you sir. know what I'm saying? See, so, but even, you know, even our gang brothers, you know, done parlayed and, and took it to a whole nother level. Mm. You know, because sometimes you grow into something and you grow out of it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's the key, man. That you know, Grow. You grow, man. Like, grow. It's not what I can take from you. It's how I can add to you. You know what I'm saying? That's that thing. If I'm taking your life, man, I'm taking, I'm wow. taking away something God gave us, you know? And see, we got to start looking at that like that, man. When we see another person, that's a human being right there, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we've all been through drama, man. Trust me. I've been through it. I came up in the hood. I, you know, I've been through it. Crip blood. You know, I grew up with both. So, you know, I know the thing. Man. Right. You know, I know yeah. I know the thing thing. You know I mean? When it started. <laughs> so, yes, sir. So, you know, I just chose a different path. You know what I mean? My thing was, man, how can I get that bag at an early yeah. age? You know what I mean? <laughs> I just keep it 100. You ching, know what ching. Mean? Yeah, baby. Low bottom, baby. Yeah, yeah. okay. So how, side. how were you able to be so much more successful than so many other people at that time? I don't never, I, I won't, you know, I don't want to say that. But mm -hmm. I mean, you know, certain people been successful in their own ways right. and success is defined different ways. Exactly. But, uh, you know, how I was able to connect dots, uh, just just my experiences and being connected and, and some of the business that I, I was engaged in at an early age, like you spoke about the limousine service. Yeah. Uh, that was one of my first real businesses that allowed me to meet people mm -hmm. from all walks of life, you know what I'm saying? And then get introduced to various business opportunities. And so that may have made, you know, it a little different for me than others. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some you. people might have had local businesses that kept mm. it localized. And so then, it just, you know, you know, it wasn't, you know, they didn't get to, they didn't get to excel, if you will. Not that they didn't have the ability to it, but, you know, your network, your network is your network. You know, the more you're able to get out, out of that, out of that community, not that you leave the community, but you, you get out of it, you're able to bring more to it. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. I was able to meet different people from different walks of life, and and we was able to chop game up. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, yeah. And, and you know, and and the entertainment world became my my playground. You know, something that, and not just a playground for me, but actually an opportunity to work with people that uh, I could help assist. You know, because yeah. uh, I saw that, especially in the eighties, uh, people that looked like us was having a hard time. Uh, Getting financed and uh, resources, resources, and, and you know, and it just was, you know, it just it yeah. bothered me, man. Yeah. Right. Know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for, uh, you know, for contributing to the resources to making it happen yeah. for a lot of um, a lot of our, a lot of our our role models out there, um, you know, on the big screen. Yeah, that we no, see from you know from it, acting yeah. to music, yeah, no, on down the line. Yeah. Ain't no need to say no names. Oh no, everybody yeah, know yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, you know, Ball City, baby. Hey <laughs> man, I know Harry. Yo. What's up, C Mac? I know yeah. you got some more yeah, questions. Yeah, man. Over no, there. man. Uh, you know, I, I know so much of the history, man, and uh, I was able to you know really witness it. You know, me being a little bit older than you, you know, yeah. I was able to witness it, and um, I saw the amazing things that you were doing, and then you and you were young. Yeah. You 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 were a young man, man, making sure that you had. A, Involved yourself in legitimate businesses, man, and being a businessman, you know, so that you could, like you say, come up. The object right. of the game back in the day, what we say, man, I'm just trying yeah. to come up. Trying to come it was up. about coming up. Right. That's why right I way. trip, like you said, we don't say no names. I trip how certain individuals today make money legitimately and then do backward things. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's yeah. Like, it's like, look, man, a lot of people, you know, look, look, I'm the first person to say a lot of things I did 
was unacceptable, you know, in terms of my right. own community. I feel like some of the stuff I participated in at a young age was it was genocide. I just, you know, that's right. called it what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can be blind by the greed and, and, and that's all you see is the bag and you don't see your brothers and sisters that's that's weak to something that and you may be weak to getting that money. I mean, cause right. just because, you know, people say get money, it's fly, get money, but sometimes it's how you get money. You know what I'm saying? Because all money ain't good money. Yeah. And, so, and sometimes, you know, you could be just addicted to get money as you becomes can. becomes a rush. Yeah, I say it so, all the time. Come on, becomes, man, we, 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 we both addicted. Yeah, so. we were talking about that earlier. It becomes a rush. Yeah. It becomes a rush. And I don't judge other people, man, because I could have been on that pipe. I could have been on, I could have been that guy. But, you know, right. some people I love and grew up with was it family members was on it so right. you know so, so I don't never take pride in that you right. know what I mean yeah there I was getting go. that money I did what I did I mean it, it, opportunities was available and we took advantage of it and then I had a lot of time man to sit and think about you know you know the good things I did in the community as well as some of the things I did to alter our community right. you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. whatever I do now is to, is to help better it you know and, anything I can add to that and, you know? and with that being said right there to a lot of entertainers right now that's out there um, the goal is to get your money and to stack generational wealth. Try to get out. It should be. Try to get yeah. out. It should be. It should be. It, it should, should be. be. Because... It's unfortunate that a lot of us, a lot of us get caught up, and you know sometimes uh, we don't realize how deep we are. Um, sometimes we get breaks and don't realize that we got a break um, until it's too late. Until, until yeah. it's too late. Like I said, until sometimes it's too late. Cost too, cost money. And then, yeah. And so let me tell you something about freedom. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> and, 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 and see when you lose it, you you really you really understand how powerful it is. Yeah, it may it may not be totally free in a lot of ways that we consider it to be free, but when you when you get put into a controlled environment, uh, trust me, it, it's like hell on earth. When you have to depend on other people to move for you, to to do things for you. Uh, and then you see people abandon you as if you're living in a closed castle. Wow. You're mm. still alive. And people see you when they see you or they don't see you when they see you or they think about you, you know, now and then. And so then you're left with your own self, which is powerful in its own sense because you get to know yourself like you never knew yourself. And then and the key is can you maintain your sanity under those circumstances mm. and what can you learn from that situation? So we got a lot of brothers and sisters that's locked up you know, they were trying to get some money or whatever. They didn't always murder this, murder that. It's just get some money and these laws, is just, they, they're unbearable. I mean, I'm not right. saying people shouldn't pay for what they do. You know, that's what I did. I paid for what they said I did and, and right. some of the things right. I did do. Some things I didn't. But, you know, when right. you're in the game, you got to take the bitter with the sweet. Yeah. But at the same time, what do you learn from that? What is What do you take away from that? And what do you bring back to the table? What, what kind of wisdom do you want to share after being gone for 33 years? Wow. And like I tell them, man, I ain't got to keep speaking in squads. 33 years and never did one day in PC. Mm -hmm. See, so, so you can check my mm -hmm. record. It speaks for oh, itself. Oh, no, that's what I said. I play it games. stay down. Stay yeah, down. I, yeah, I kept it 100. I don't, stay I don't, down. I don't get caught up in the banner about who did what, who said what. Anybody know me, you know I always kept it 100 because that's who I am. What I did to get took away, I took responsibilities for it. Both cases. Salute! Yeah, yeah that's that, why I said yeah, salute. salute. Yeah, yeah, you know, salute. that's what I say when I say you one of our real ones. Yes, sir. See, you, 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 you're not one that we got to say, what well, do you know? Hold on about four or yeah, five yeah, people. Yeah. Oh, he's but, suspect. But, uh, uh, <laughs> you know you got to check the paperwork. Check it, baby. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, we can pull it up. It's Ball public. City, man. It's, it's Ball, City, Ball City, baby. <laughs> you can pull it up. But look, look, and I don't want to beat that up and, and be caught up in all that. No, no, yeah. no. Because I don't even live that life no more. Right. But at the same time, your record is your record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yes, what I'm right. saying? It ain't hard to find dirt on somebody. You know no, what I mean? not yeah, at all. looking for it. Not but at all. at the same time, when somebody kept it, you know, people that don't walk that walk with me and talk that talk with me, they know what I was about behind them walls. I kept it 100, man. And I, and I, you know, like I say, I kept it 100, man. I ain't there we signed go. up for nothing in that, you know, to put me in somewhere to have me set away. I mean, of course, they was always coming at me, you know, because right. I'm old, you know what I'm right. saying? But at the same time, I kept it 100, baby. You right. know what I mean? Right. Look here, man. Go ahead, man. I don't need no help. I, I didn't need no help before. <laughs> I don't need no help. I'm going to do this here because it's me. And when I'm going to get out on my own, you know, ingenuity, man. I'm going I'm to fight my case, man. I'm going to... I'm going to stand by what's right, man. I came home, bro. That's and right. I've been embraced since I came home, man. All right, well, look, man, we're going to take a small break, pay a couple of these bills real quick. I know time is money. But uh, we went, oh, whoa, before we do that, Big Reg in L.A., 
Thank you so much, bro, for hooking this up. We couldn't have done this without you, man. Salute, man. Good looking rare, Big salute. Rez, that's my boy. Been, we've been tight for 30 years, man. He really, really came through for Dub C and I today, man. I appreciate that. Good looking, Rex. Now, DJ Slim, take us to the break, baby. Caviar. Caviar. Secret Specialist. Yeah, see, it's all about the style. Yeah, see, it's all about the Yeah, see, it's all about the style. Yeah, see, it's all about the style. Yeah, see, it's all about the style. Yeah, bullshit run the mound. Yeah, see, it's all about the style. Yeah, see, it's all about the Yeah, see, it's all about the style. Yeah, bullshit run the mound. Yeah, welcome to the Dub C and CJ Mack show. Once again, I am CJ Mack. And I am Skip Skip Dub C. And we sitting here with our very, very honorable man guest. Yes, sir. Mr. Michael Harris. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. AKA yes, Harry O. Yeah, I mean, it's Harry O to me, too. Harry O, Harry O. I, I can't let that go, man. I'm Mr. sorry. Harris. It, Mr. Harry, Harris. Harry O done grown up, so, you know, yeah, Michael, Mr. Harris, Harris. Michael Harris. Yeah, Michael Harris is Michael the one. Michael Harris. But Harry O, you know, we got him, you know, he. he we, we got, got we got to keep him. Yeah, 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 we got him. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him. We need to watch more. You know what I mean? Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris. There it is, man. Mr. Harris. There it is. This man. You know what? It was a shock to me. I saw a post. On uh on social media of you in the studio with Snoop Dogg, uh shout out to Snoop and yeah, I saw man, man. yeah yeah shout yeah out, yeah Snoop. shout out yeah. Love it, baby what up dog I, I saw you guys together um what's going on man I'm hearing different things about me uh, and CJ was talking about yeah, they, like they said, Death Row I, mean, I, I feel like I'm at huh? home at this table man so I'm gonna hmm? pop it but at the same time sir hey. everybody business ain't nobody hey, business you got it right here first on the Dub CJ Mack show I say I say this Dr is back. And we going to another level, and uh, my main man, uh, Snoop, man, uh, you know, it's like, can't say enough about him, bro. Man. And, and the whole Death Row family, we all coming back together. Now you heard that, yeah. right here yeah. on the Look Dub C and yeah. CJ yeah. Mack show. Yeah. Death Row. He Death just Row said family. that, uh, We just lost our, 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 our heart and soul, Jewel. Oh, man. Oh, Jewel, and, uh, rest in and, peace. And, and it's crazy, man, peace. because me and her was just talking a few weeks ago, and DJ Quick uh, wanted to do her album. You uh -huh. know, never had a full album. And, and we was bringing her out here uh, in two weeks, man. To, you, you think uh, you think that, you man. think that uh, when I say we, that's us as fans, we can get some of the work that she's done that never well, well, came me, out. And you yeah, guys no, can well, take well, the vocals no, and no, me and Dog, we we putting that together now. Yeah, and, and JP, we all gonna we gonna make sure she together. get a full album. Oh no, no, we get, we go you know, and then her family, man. I see they they out there. We want to make sure that because she that's what she cared about. Yeah, right. wanted to make sure yeah. that her family knew who she was. And what she did, and she never really got an opportunity to really display who she was. Right. And, and when I tell you, she was the heart and soul of the company. She was, even though I was away, I used to talk to her all the time. Right. Yeah. And she was, uh, she was our soul, man. And she didn't take no shit from nobody, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. She, she, hear about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. She, she, she <laughs> was no game. She was yeah. the one. And so what we want to do, we want to put a tribute album together, and. Uh, and and donate that to her family. Yes. Yeah. That's what. Man, she God bless. That's man. what there she told me. In the last days, that that's what she wanted to do, and you know, God got us get out, and we got to get out. And we can never question God. So, so now we have to work hard. And I was talking to Dog about it uh, yesterday, and, mm. and we're gonna put it together. We're gonna do everything we got. Cause she got some unreleased tracks. And I'm there we go. Think yes. about it as well. He was really adamant about doing something special for her. You know. Yeah. He said, matter of fact, the last words he had said to me were, "It's been well overdue." There we and go. So with that moment, what that did for me, man, it, it struck us hard. Is that you never nothing is never promised, and so all this procrastinating we can't do it, man. You know we, we you know we got a limited time on this earth, mm -hmm. and we got to take advantage. Right. of Right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So what we can do, we should do. And so uh, as for dog, when I came home, uh, he said, "Look, man, you got 36 hours of me with your family. And that. It's me <laughs> and you, it. baby. You know unfinished yeah, business. Unfinished business, man. And, and me and him been uh you know we've been you know sitting behind the scenes." Doing what we doing, man. I can't say enough about him, man. You know, yeah. so, I don't say what I don't say with the family. I don't say with you know all the players, and we coming together. We finna work together. We got a lot of stuff coming out. You know, we gonna we gonna serve Death Row the way that was meant to be served when we yeah. created it in the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now, see, that's what I want to talk yeah. about real yes, quick. We're for the people that it, don't baby. know, for the people that don't know, and they're wondering, okay, okay, we know Snoop, but what does he have to do with it? People that don't know your name, right? Mm -hmm. They want. to... What was your involvement from the beginning of Death Row? Mm, I, I have created. Yeah. I created it and uh, named, you know, 
Godfather Entertainment mm-hmm. uh, was the parent company of, of Death Row Records. And uh, and I I was there in the beginning when we built the Chronic, the whole nine yards. And so uh, I was just, was, it, you know, I'm the founder, brother. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, we got other names we now mentioned that was involved. Right. Or deeply involved. Right, right, right. But we all, some people, we, had, we just think different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But we all used to think the same. Right. So it used to be a tight family. Trust me when I tell you that. There we go. This thing started off, you know, everybody was on the same accord. And, and we want to depict that in a film one day, where you or a series where you're going to actually see how this thing unfolded and all the that'd be amazing. All the connecting yep. pieces, man. We all came from different walks of life, man. You know, we just started the Dog Pound, Warren G, Rage, Jewel, and, and all the producers that work with us uh, uh, from you know all the producers. Yes. We helped Dr. Dre work with Dr. Dre. Yep. The, to produce. Uh, the album. I don't want to get dropping names. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody yeah. that was involved, story should be told. I, I just think that it, it, it it's changed. well overdue. You know, it changed. The, it changed the culture of music. Yeah. And I just think that a lot of times people get caught up in all the machination about bullshit, about things that don't really matter, and nobody really talks about what it took to create that sound, what what people had to give up to get that, and uh, including myself. You know, right. my, my focus was that label pose even my freedom. I mean, I was like, I want this to work. And I did my part working with people. I didn't do it by myself. Everybody had a powerful part to play. And so that's going to come out, you know, and people have been quite successful, you know, on their own merits, but at the same time, but as a derivative of this creation. And I just think that, you know, it's not about living in the past. It's about showing lessons from that past. Right. Mm-hmm. So some things that don't need to be repeated and some things, you know, because there's a lot of things we lost that we shouldn't have lost. It's a lot of time we spent doing nothing that we should have been some mm, time right. great. And so, you know, look, everybody got their own karma, including me. You don't do 33 years for nothing. Right, and right. So other people got to do what they got to do. And then, you know, you got to learn what you got to learn. And some people learn and some people don't. So is this something that you and Snoop have been working on over the years, communicating, like, while you were yeah, away? Well, you know, we've been, we always stayed in contact. But, you know, once I came home, we, we had to, you know, we put our heads together. And say, we're going to do what we do. Man, I, I think it's, I can't wait to see it. Back it's, on death row. It's, it's long overdue, man. I, I, yeah, can't, yeah, I can't yeah. wait to see it. I said with doctor, the, the doctor, you know, and, you know, we have our talks. What too, up, DR? Know. Yeah. Dre, what's that? The happening? doctor, you know, he just, so he bust that school over there in Compton. I saw that. Yeah, that's powerful, brother. And, you know, that's 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 the kind of things we need to be doing with money. Investing back into the community, man. We can't just take that money, man, and think it's ours, you know, you yeah, it's yours, but at the same time, it's for you to give it to meaningful causes. Yeah, yeah. And that's You're blessed I'm, with it for yeah, a reason. Yeah, yeah. I'm, involved, I'm involved in philanthropy, and I got a company that deals with right, that. It's going right. to be PTV, right. and it's going to be doing that. But my main focus is, and, and this is what Dog, you know, looking for me to do, is, is he do what he do, and I'm going to do what I do, and, and the rest of the team, because we got a strong team, and that we're going to organize and connect the dots, and we're going we gonna to blow it up, bro. Right. We're going to blow it up. And we're going to take it into the next decade in a way that people, some people may not expect it to do. Just like some people didn't think that Super Bowl was going to be what it was. And, you know, oh, it was awesome. It was, it it was, was, it was awesome, man. It they, was incredible. They, man. they didn't miss a beat, man. It not was at beautiful. all. Beautiful. Well orchestrated by the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Shout out yeah. to Dr. Dre. And, uh, and yes, everybody that played that. a part in there represented this coast, man. Yeah. Like straight up, man. I the mean, way it's supposed to be yeah, represented. Yeah. And see, that's the thing about hip hop. I mean, we're going to go on to our 50th anniversary. And a lot of people still want to kind of like question the validity of this of this of this culture, oh, yeah. And, yeah. and this brand, you know. And hip hop is here to stay, and it's in every parts of everybody's life. And so that was just an example of what's to come. And we get, we're looking forward to doing some great things in the 50th anniversary of this powerful thing that has affected all of our lives. Oh yeah, yeah. every one of us, all of us, so all of us. And I'm looking forward to coming back and talking to you guys about that. You know, some things we don't want to discuss right yeah, now. Definitely. We, you know, yeah, we wanna, definitely. We want to let it come like it needs to come. Cause you know, everybody, you know, some people want to see you win and some people don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm can't saying? Have the good, can't, <laughs> have the good, can't have the good without the bad, yeah, you know, but, the love without right. the hate. I right. love it, though, because, it, yeah. you know, it's like that same thing, that pressure that turned gold yeah. into to that precious uh, metal that it is as well as the diamonds. Some pressure 
pressure buster pipe, but it also creates some beautiful situations. It's all about come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you've what been, you, been how you, epitome of that. Yeah, how, do you, how do you handle pressure? Yeah. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Message. <laughs> yeah. Another yeah, message. Yeah, Another yeah, message. Another yeah. dropped with, in yeah, today. Yeah. When real you know? pressure's applied, what do you do then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah. question, baby. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Fight so, or flight. What are you yeah. going to do? Yeah. And, I, and I met some people along my way, and I, and I associate with brothers. That, that went through things and came home and doing powerful things in business. And I, I don't see what they're doing the pressure, man. They, yeah. they learn from it. They, so so are you guys going into the uh, the whole metaverse world? Yeah, and all man, that we, stuff? We, we working that out, man. And we want to make that a reality, man. You know, it's it's like, uh, it's not, you know, and Dog is really serious about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about, man, about, I'm talking yeah. about, you got his son, Cardell, and his yeah. team. You know, they, 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 they real serious about it. And Cardell, man, he... He's making his own way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's not just living Yeah, shout off. out, shout yeah. out, nephew. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's grinding. He's doing yeah, his he, thing. He's 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 uh he's truly uh he's an entrepreneur, man. Yeah. And uh he's not living off a dog and, and dog love him, you know. He loved that he got his own grind, he got his own hustle, man. We respect him, you know. Yeah. And uh he's uh he's really you know, he's that young he's that young blood, you know, he's that that, that fusion, you know, he, he's connected. They raised in that technology and they, they yeah. understand that social media, like, you know, we got to learn it. They understand it. They, they was birthed into it. Yeah. And so we need to listen. And, and those who don't will become dinosaurs. Yeah. Period. I right. Mean, well, yeah. that's, that's what life in general, yeah. if you don't yeah. pay attention, you know, uh, you know, you're going to lose out. Yeah. You're going to lose out. You're going to lose out. Yeah. No, man. You're going to lose no. out. So, so the label is going to exist in, in the metaverse as well as, yeah, so, we so, working so, that out, brother. So, that's okay. part of the thing. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that later. We, yeah, we, yeah, we'll talk about that. That's part of the thing we're going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we can show you, baby. We can tell yeah, you, Yeah, I won't be ahead of the curve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that part. But you know you're you going to get the first tickets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Dog is performing here tomorrow night. I'm oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm performing with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll be out there with Ice Cube. Okay, yeah, yo, Q, bro. Shout out. Yeah, shout out to Q. Yeah, yeah, special guest. Yeah, yeah. Mount Westmore. Mount Westmore. Ice Cube, too short. Yeah, Boss City, baby. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, Forty Water. Gonna be, this way is Forty Water. Uh, Shout there tonight. He's short. Short is short short out here also. He's okay. performing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another yeah. one of my young partners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, yeah. Short is actually yeah. coming on the show uh, tomorrow. Uh, no, real dudes. I mean, it, yeah. it, that's it all just, we do, man. Like, when, when you like, and that's why I like your, your, what you're doing here, man. And you all ain't with the weak shit, the bullshit. You know, y'all with the real shit, man. That's what we need. We need to be able to come somewhere where everybody can feel comfortable and kick real game and elevate. You know what I'm saying? This this other stuff, I don't even want to talk about it. You know, it's just I won't be about it. You know what I mean? I won't be about this. So it was my honor, to, you know, to be invited on here since we're in Vegas, you know, to see our boy get down, see, see, see you guys. Oh, yeah. Down, oh, yeah. Know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, represent yeah. that West. Red, red, but yeah. at the same time, one thing about this West, we always let it know Earth is our turf. You know, we work with everybody, man. We open. You know what I'm saying? We believe. That that we all connected in some form of we fashion, are. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Connected, that, and that's what makes all the way to the motherland, baby. <laughs> so don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? We <laughs> don't. <laughs> the last thing I, I'd like for you to do uh, is just share something, man, with these kids, man, that out here and blessed getting all this money, man, and turn around getting arrested, going to jail, and trying to get be a part of things that they've already escaped. I mean. I think you're speaking to it, brother. Yeah. Look, here's the thing, man. Look, I'm the first person, I'm the last person that's going to ever judge anybody because I know circumstances cause people to make certain choices that could turn out to be horrendous. But at the same time, I think what you're asking me is what advice would I give somebody? And, and for me to be on both sides of the spectrum, at a young age, 19 years old, getting money, a millionaire, you know, doing what I'm doing out there in the game, uh, I went to prison when I was 26 years old. And so, uh, <laughs> seemed like I was still a kid, but you know, at the same time, I was on some grown man shit. But at the same time, I made some critical mistakes. So it's hard for me to watch people make it in a legitimate way and then turn to illegitimate uh, circumstances or situations that are unnecessary. And sometimes they do it for the crowd and sometimes they do it because they think that this is what they're supposed to do and what they doing is what they're supposed to do. And then you need to take pride and stay connected to that. And trust me, at the end of the day, it's going on because people want to be what you are, not what you think you want to be. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And that's kind of like, you know, I mean, you know, like you read a book on how to do everything wrong or 
doing shit backwards. That's yeah. what that's like. I mean, so uh, sometimes uh, people be in hazes, they be high, they don't be thinking about what they're thinking about. But at mm -hmm. the same time, man, you got to think about your thoughts, baby. That's what I would tell somebody, mm -hmm. that when you think you think it, think again. Wow. Because a lot of times the decisions that we make usually avoid a wisdom. And so, and when you don't see wisdom in the car, you need to get out of it. Because that means this thing about to crash. You mm -hmm. got and see, wisdom has always been available to us. Man. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I like that. We're going to uh, said that. I love gonna, that. We're going to end it with that. And like I said, I want to thank you for everything you've done, you know, um, for the culture, for us, and what you're doing right now, along with the people that you elect to do business with. And I'm just not going to say certain individuals because you're doing broader things than just music. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a lot of things you do and that you're doing for the community that you don't speak on. Right. And a lot of us. But I just want to thank you right now while you're on the show. Tell you I appreciate everything. And on behalf of Dub, C, and CJ and Mac, we always going to have an open door for you. So anytime you want to oh, yeah. come on and you want to talk about some of the things that um that you're, yeah, we, you're involved we might, with. Yeah, we, 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 we finna get into a little political year, and I know a lot of people don't like to play with politics. Right. But I'm going to make some choices.